Yeah, it's straight. It's all right. It could be better. <laughs> how's, it, how's it felt the first two games to be back out there? It definitely feels good just to especially start off in Atlanta, kind of feel that I'm familiar with, and then go back to Brian Denny. I, that was my kind of first start at Brian Denny, so that was big to me. So starting off well. You only have four sacks, but how do you feel like you protect the quarterback? Uh, I think we've been doing a really good job with that as far as just making sure that he feels our presence and stuff like that, whether it's get, getting a sack, getting a hit on him, getting pressure to where it kind of affects his throw, or even just making him, say, cancel the play and just throw the ball away. So I think we've been doing a really good job of just making our presence felt in what the pass a, rush. What is a good, successful pass rush rep for you? Like, when you go back at the end of the day, after every play, what, what is a good, I won that battle? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess kind of beating the guy in front of me is so that he knows that, okay, if something didn't go his way, like his quarterback got would have got hit or something like that, and then just affecting how the quarterback plays made me just as far as him even just glancing over to see, okay, maybe I need to step up or maybe, you know what I'm saying, anything to kind of throw his rhythm off and knock his balance off as far as the timing of the play and stuff like that. You want to get that sack, though. Oh, definitely. But, I mean, I don't really try to focus on sacks. I just kind of try to focus on, okay, did I affect him? Did I? Did it lead to somebody else getting a sack, stuff like that? Just any disruption. How much fun is it just being out there? I don't care what you've been through. And stuff. I mean, it's real fun. I take everything for what it's worth. So just being out there and just getting up, being able to play against somebody else on a consistent basis is just, I don't know, it's a blessing for real. Can you describe how tough it is? Most of two seasons, not doing what you want to be doing. Um, it was definitely a lot of dark times and kind of made me have to sit back and, you know what I'm saying, just kind of be patient and really just focus on, okay, how can I get better at this time instead of just moping and just trying to look for kind of, how can I say, complain, basically. I mean, you can't, once it's, you can't really complain about the cards you dealt. So I kind of was just... Uh, work through it because I mean I know God got something planned on the other side so I just really tried to focus on getting back on the field and taking everything for what it's worth like as far as just relationships and football and stuff like that. Do you think you came back better? Definitely. Well it's still a work in progress. I feel like I mean I got better over time but at the same time I haven't played against somebody else in a, a while so I'm still kind of getting the rust off in a sense like just getting back comfortable with being in a game type situation. So, you mentioned dark days. What was the darkest it got? Did it, you know, when, when you just, you know, it got, it got really down on yourself or, or the situation? When, when was that the darkest? Um, kind of just being in, <coughs> watching games and practices over and over again. And then sometimes when you see guys that's not putting forth full effort and you're like, you don't even realize like how much. You know, saying you you never know when this could be your last play. So, those usually be the darkest times when you kind of see somebody else taking the game for granted, or like you know, what I'm saying not really cherishing the fact that they get to be out here. And more so, when you see guys complain, they they get to play football and they complain about the external elements, like oh, it's hot, I don't feel like practicing, stuff like that. So, that was my biggest thing, like watching guys. And I'm like, you don't even realize, like if I could be out there, I would I would love to. That was a really uh, cool moment in the championship game between uh, you and uh, Anthony Jennings a while back. Just talk about the brotherhood between you two and how you two play off each other. Um, I feel like it's just because me and me and Anthony, we got a real strong bond. I mean, coming in as a freshman, he kind of took me under his wing along with like Christian Miller and Jamie Mosley. So that bond we built just being behind guys like Ryan and Tim kind of made us grow together because we seen how they bonded and we knew that at one point it would be our time to kind of be those edge guys and so we we kind of play for each other and kind of I mean we kind of model our game just like how Ryan and Tim did. This is your first road, true road game in a while. Do you like those? Do you like road games? Or? Yeah, I love road games. What do you like about them? Just the fact that the crowd is always hyping and you know what I'm saying, you can sense the energy change as you keep beating them. It's like they're loud, 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 and then you start to see people get quiet, and you start to see people leave. It, it's fun because you know you, you dominated your opponent. When you spend all that time away from the game, how much have you ever doubted you'd be able to come back and be the same player? 
I never doubted it. I kind of, I like to see other people doubt me. So in a sense, like, I like to see how people will kind of be like, oh, I don't think he'll be the same or, you know what I'm saying, those tragic injuries might, you know what I'm saying, change the way he plays the game and stuff like that. But I don't really go into a game of football with fear. I know what I signed up for. How excited was Chris Allen to get that sack? He was really excited. He, he looked a little funny when he got it. It just kind of looked like he was in awe for a little second. Yeah. <laughs> when you were seeing those guys not put in the full effort, is that something where you would like take to the side and say, hey, be grateful at least you can play right now? Yeah, it's something that you kind of tell them either right there on the spot or kind of like just gradually tell them, like, y'all got to pick up the effort. Like, this is not how we do things around here. Two more. What about you when you're tired? Because you, everybody wants to complain when they're tired or wants to slow down the effort a little bit. Do you kind of remind yourself of why, how you felt back then when you couldn't? You said when I'm tired? Yeah, I mean, when everybody kind of gets... Oh, yeah. I mean, when I'm tired, I kind of just mentally think to myself, like, this is the time where you got to push through it and get yourself in the game shape and kind of think more like a game situation, like, okay, if my team depending on me, am I just going to fold when I get tired or am I going to try to ask for a sub and we can't get a sub? Like, I'm just going to go out there and just waste my body and have my guys play with 10 people on the field, basically. So that's when you start to kind of have self-talk when you're tired. When the defense stunts or maybe brings a star on them, because those are things we normally think about in the passing game, but the coaches talked about how that's maybe affected y'all's running game. So when, when you're throwing those things at, a, at an offense, how do you feel like that's affecting their running game? Like stunts? Yeah, like stunts and, and bringing like a five-man pressure or something. Like that. How does that affect their running game? Um, I feel like it kind of affects how they, like pre-snap, how they plan on blocking it and then seeing a totally different thing, like a totally different look by the time they snap the ball, it kind of affects how they, they have, basically have to scramble and figure things out on the fly, like how are we going to block this pressure and stuff like that. All right, thank you.